Only him alone is worthy glory and honor and power and mighty and majesty and dominion and authority even now and forever. Amen. Before I read the word, before I say anything, number one, I want to give God glory for giving me an opportunity to come and be your servant. I'm honored to serve you. Now me and the Queen of Africa, that's my wife, my, my darling baby, and my diamond, the sharpshooter. The only woman that has shot my heart with an arrow. And I realize if I pull out the arrow, I will die. The only way to survive is to press it in. That I, I may carry the arrow with me for the rest of my life. Even as I talk to you, I can feel the hollow, the arrow within my heart. Oh, glory to God. Amen and amen. We haven't understood that of the preaching the gospel, this is my 39th year. This is my 39th year remaining with one year to 40 years of doing ministry. We have understood that it is a privilege to serve God's people because God can call someone else. It's a privilege to serve God's people and I'm so much honored to have the opportunity to come and serve you. What an honor for me to be your servant. Amen. Number two, I want to appreciate the apostle Shabalala. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to come and serve you and serve God's people that are under your leadership in your own platform. I really appreciate it. It's a great honor for me to come and serve you. I'm honored to serve you. I'm honored to serve God's people under your leadership in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Number three. <laughs> number three, I want to appreciate all the men of God in the house, beginning with Apostle Mpongos, a man that I knew when he was young and slim, and oh my God, when the first daughter that he has now was this young. For many years, we've been friends, and thank you so much for allowing our friendships to stay for years. And I'm so much honored to minister in your presence. This is the man that have brought me over to Durban. And then I came in here. And then I, I found the man of God. And I don't know what happened. One thing led to another. And I am here tonight. And this is really amazing. It's really amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm honored to minister in the presence of all men of God, the apostles and the prophets and the teachers and the pastors. But more so to every believer. It's because of you that a God has sent me this way. And I pray that I will be a blessing to you in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Brother Mlumbi. Now, Brother Mlumbi is my name. For years I preached with my title, Brother Mlumbi. Brother Mlumbi is also an ordained bishop in my administrative title. But an ordained apostle and a prophet to nations. This is what I do. I travel the nations of the world. I got one thing that I do to reveal Christ to the nations of the world. But to bring the understanding of Christ to the church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tonight, I'm led moving in, in a direction that is not common. So, you will allow me to just dive into the place where I want to dive into. I'm married to one wife. We are blessed with five children. And we are blessed with nine grandchildren. A 
on Monday when I came to Dublin on Monday morning I was celebrating my sixth one birthday oh, you, you want to interpret for me oh, glory to God so why are you so far from me it's your, it's your protocol now allow me to break the protocols tonight so come this way Take your Bible, put it here on this side, right. and let's just preach together. Put your Bible here, here on the platform. Amen and amen. You shake my hand. Amen. You're welcome. Don't be worried. I got no emotional problems. I, I don't shout to my interpreters. It's, it's not easy to interpret. But just flow with me, okay? So don't be worried. I don't shout to my interpreters That's because I've been an interpreter for years. So I don't shout to interpreters because I know it's a real job to interpret and mostly to interpret for me because I'm not an educated guy and everything of mine is spiritually. So just pick your Bible and stand next to me here. Stand up right here and let's preach. Glory to God. Amen. 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 I was saying that we are blessed with nine children. We are blessed with five children and nine grandchildren by the grace And we are enjoying our lives. And uh, on Monday, I celebrated my sixth one birthday. And I'm enjoying my life. Now he was saying to me, You don't change. No, I don't change. Because I found a verse in the Bible. It says, The years of a young man shall be 100 years. And I am I'm sailing on that word. I cannot be old until I eat 100. Amen. I am a, I'm a mortal that has put on immortality. While I'm still alive. I wish I would have time to explain what that means, but we are, not, we are not moving in that direction. Isaiah, I read my Bible, and everyone is standing up, so stand up for the reading of the word. And we are reading from the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter. Oh, glory to God. Isaiah, the sixth chapter. I'm going to do a quick job and we're going to we're going to have some time to have the men of God have time to pray for you. Because I know he, he's anointed to pray for people. So um, stand here. Don't try to go anywhere. Just, just be here with me, okay? Relax. Amen, amen, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Isaiah chapter 6. Oh, by the way, Apostle, you, you really blessed me. You really blessed my heart. It's, it's only that you did a lot of Zulu, but... I'm, but I, I understand a lot of it, so... I was blessed. Amen. Amen. In the year that a King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, I and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Gomnyaga wogu fagwenko su uzia, gabona uche hova, esezi estalweni sake, so ukosi, esi pezulu, nesi pagemeo. Let, let, 
A ballad stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, with the twain it covered his face, and with the twain it covered his feet, and with the twain it did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of, of him that I cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I have a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Mm. Mm. And then flew one of the seraphims unto me having a life call in his hand which he had taken with the tongues from the from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this other touch thy lips and thine iniquity is taken away and thine sin purged. Latinda umlomo wami lati. And also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I sent me. Footing as what is we lenko siliti, Giagutuma bani, Gubani oya gusiye lana, Nasen giti. And he said, Go. Yati Hamba. And he said, Go. Yati Kimi Hamba. Father, speak to us. Let your word bring forth life. In the mighty name of the Son of the Living God. I pray that wisdom and knowledge and understanding will be imparted within the lives of your people through the ministration of your word. And I pray that the rhymes of activation of the effectual working measures and the giftings that live within your people will be released. That you will speak to things that you spoke into the lives of people in a separate area. even before they came to the womb of their mothers in a kenyana sayenia niana nata ya laba ure manesa pariadia gelilania zapara ikapaganda ya sayataya i speak to the rams that are trying to complicate the realms of this ministry in Kenya, Dariapaya, Kotalia Repali, Zipalina Nasepanadia, Oh Shakapagataya. I summon you in a Kiapalaya under the blood of Jesus Christ. I summon you 
under the rhymes of the resurrected Christ as someone you in Akiyane Sutayandia Ziparialiki Yamandi Zepepila Parata in the Sakapariya Legazia Saninia Italian Yamana Sapapaliata in the Boro Sakapala Gandaya in the Periale Gonzando you cannot you cannot you cannot Italamaya Shandonia Sietelia Peraliania E papina de sina manda Oh E rapasayata E na kala saka manda E na kasie amaya Shanine ni Zilali ele sipariata Zante panina kesata magande balalakia Ya Thank you. Bathe me. Kanina Lialuga. Bathe me. Kapasata. Bathe me. And answer ya. Oh, Lord, I pray. Bathe me. In the Kosia. In the pool of your glory. Bathe me, bathe me, Tasia Taya. I say, bathe me, Nanuya. In the pool of your fire. Bathe me, bathe me, bathe me, Lord. I, I cry, bathe me, Shanemiana Sayana. In the pool of your glory. <laughs> Lord, I pray, bathe me, bathe me. I cry, bathe me, bathe me. Nesite mianea. Lisete minia yataya. In the pool of your fire, bathe me. Shanenia. Eparia manda. Zante palikadu separataya. Bathe me. Bathe me. Bathe me. I pray, bathe me. I cry, bathe me. <laughs> Let I cry, bathe me. In Shakadamaya. In the pool of your glory. Oh. Lord, I pray, bathe me. Bathe me. Nasi Parama. In the pool of your fire. Bait me, Nazuka Pegia. Oh, Shania Mandu Separanania. Bait me, bait me, bait me. Mm. 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 Imams, bait us. Bait this ministry in the pool of your fire. Kola sila parayani Ena salema rama telalia Shani neni kosaya Shani neli arapari ya seama Shana ne kosaya manda Zepali ali kosie Shandi ali rapara mande seperiani ata Shani ni menu sapagadea Shalala raperandie Ila lusaminia Kalani enenso koporanda Hepotasi eleli alena Someone is already bathing The seat has become a pool that you are amongst in the council talia barandia ah yes lord 
<laughs> now I gotta preach for some time. Walk with me. Enjoy yourself. Walk with me. Just, just, just enjoy yourself. Ooh, rapa ralataya. You can be seated in the presence of God. And as you sit down, turn to your neighbor and slap his back. And tell him, neighbor, realms of dominion. Realms. Realms of dominion. By divine encounters. I said realms of dominion by divine encounters. Now I want you to understand that all the realms of the divine are realms of dominion. All the realms of the triune God. All the realms of the infinite God. The God that is not controlled by time neither space. They are realms of dominion. It is within the realms of the triune God. The realms of the Father. The realms of Christ. And the realms of the person of the Spirit. That have created everything visible and everything invisible. It is within the realms of God the Father. Where thoughts and imaginations are born. So God is the author of all things, but He has settled everything within the realms of His thought. In other words, when God thinks, it is already done. When God develops a thought, it becomes a settled one. That's why within the realms of the triune God God conceives everything within the womb of his purpose In other, Everything you see and everything you, you don't see Was conceived within the womb of his purpose Because Everything was conceived to feel as to fulfill a specific purpose of the kingdom. Don't play it, just let it go because we, we, we are interpreting. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening to me? So everything okay. that was conceived within the womb of his purpose. All of it originates from from the realms of his thought. And when he thinks it's already done. That's why God empowers generations and people for their destiny with his thoughts. It's, he empowers them with his thoughts. Why? Because if you can catch the thought of God, you have caught your finished work. That's why the Bible says, I know how many thoughts I have concerning you. Many are my thoughts concerning you. And he says, I know the thoughts I have for you. Not thoughts of destruction. But 
force of an expected end. In other words, I have finished your journey before you begin. Within my thoughts, I, I call the end from the beginning. So I finish your journey before you begin. So if you can tap into my thought, so when I'm always you can tap into into a finished work. That's why God does not visit men from the past. Only the devil comes to you from the past. But God will always visit you from your future. I wish I have someone I came to talk to here. The devil is the only one who capitalizes on your past. But God, every time he is visiting you, he is visiting you from a finished work. He comes to you from the future. Why? Because he wants you to deal with your present from the future, not from the past. If you can deal with what you are going through from the future, there's always an answer. But if you deal with it from the past, there's no answer. I wish I have someone I came to talk to. So the Ryans. Amazulu. Created everything by thought. Then when God thought. The realms of Christ. Which are the realms of the wisdom of God. Because he declares that wisdom was with me before the foundations of the world. Why? Why was he with him? Because he is the articulator of the counsels of God. When God thinks, Jesus taps into the thought. And then he articulates the thought. That's why everything that is visible and invisible, God created it by Jesus Christ. That's why he has become the word God. Because he is the articulator. He brings the thought from the place of being thought into the place of being articulated. So the thought of God becomes the word of God. The thought of God becomes the voice of God. And then the realms of the person of the Holy Ghost. Which are the realms of tangibility. The realms of reality. The realms of manifestations. They manifest what is spoken. They bring it into tangibility. That's why the realms of the person, the Holy Ghost, was, or, was already on earth. He moved upon the face of the waters. And when he was moving, the Father said, Let Jesus said, Let there be light. And when the articulation was released, the realms of the person of the Holy Ghost created light from darkness because light did not come from light. Light came from darkness. Oh God Almighty. And from then, are you listening to me? 
God. God. As everything was put in place. He began by what I call. A moment of creating. But before he created man in reality. He created man in thought. And before he created him. He spoke about let us create man. So man, man was taught. And man was spoken into being before he was. So man existed in God before he was articulated by the realms of Christ. So what happens? He said, let us make man in our own image. Now, when God is saying, let us make man, who is he talking to? He is not talking with the realms of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He is talking to all creation of God within heavens. Because there are rulers. There are angels in different realms of authority. All of them are created like God. How do I know? Because they cannot live within the realms of God unless, unless they can connect with the vibrations and the frequencies that operate within the realms of God. So they live within the glory of God because they are created having a portion of the glory. Because you cannot access the dwelling of God without, without His glory. Because the only way to access a place of glory is by accessing the glory. Because the glory is the access to the rights. But they cannot dwell within the presence of God unless they are created with the glory of heaven. Because you cannot access the heavens without the glory of heaven. That's why when God wants you to access the realm, he will reveal to you the glory of his realms. Because you cannot access the realm of anything without its glory. Oh, and then he creates some man who carries the attributes and the qualities of everything that is within heaven. Not just the qualities of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, but he carries the qualities. He carries the attributes of all the creation. Why? Because he is being created to rule over all the creations. Because you can't rule that which you don't have the glory to because you can't, you can't communicate to what you can't access. So he is able to rule the visible and the invisible. He is created not just with the image but he is created in the likeness of God. What, what is likeness? Likeness is the nature and the expression of another. It is only man in the whole creation of God that is created with a nature and expression that I can live in any glory. Only man. He can shift like an angel. 
It can be in a, on earth, but are sitting with the elders in heaven. He was created as a God. As all angels. All the gods who are created by God in heaven. Because all of them are gods. They are gods because they were created by God. But then he created one God who has the nature and expression of all of them. And he gave him dominion to rule over all natures and expressions. That's why dominion was not given to the devil. Dominion was given to man. That's why there was no problem in heaven until man appeared. All gods in heaven, they lived well. Until God created one who looks like all of them and he gave him power to rule over all of them. Ah. But this man is created within the realms of humanity. He is created outside heaven. He is created within the realms of the earth. Yes. Oh, I pray that someone God said to me the greatest problem I will have is for people to understand. Who? So you create him with materials of the earth. Because he was going to live within the realms of reality. He is born in an act that is tangible, so he must be tangible. He is created within where everything can be seen. But then, after he creates him, he breathes, he breathes in him. The life of God. Because the breath of God is the life of God. So the dust plus the breath of God created a man who is as God Trinity within himself. Is the only one who lives in three like God lives in three. He lives in the, he, he lives in the flesh, in the soul, and in the spirit. He is in touch with reality and is in touch with the spirit. Oh, you didn't know what I said. I'm coming slowly. Because I want you to understand. Now listen to me. This man is put in the in the Eden of God. Oh my God. And he is having fellowship with God every day. Look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor, what is Adam doing with God in the Garden of Eden every day? Because the man does not have a need that needs a breakthrough. He does not have devils that he needs to be delivered from. He has got no luck that he needs divine supply. What are you doing with God every day? It's not looking for healing. Because man was not created to live within the realms of need. He was created to live within the realms of interaction with God. Now listen to me. He is created on earth. But he is not separated from the realms he came from. 
kodwa edalwe emhlabeni akahlukaniswanga namazulu aqhamuka kuwo as far as he is concerned la la umuntu khona mangithatha ukubheka heavens and earth are not separated lamazulu nomhlaba azange kuze kuhlukaniswe he walks here but he lives there yize ehamba lana uphila le emazulu Kanimia sakapaya taya and said that was the plan of God. He is living on earth. He does not live in the place of asking. He lives in the realms of interacting. Because he is not disconnected from the realms he came from. Because within the realms where he came from, everything of his is settled. Before God thought about man, he thought about everything man needed. When the, the realms of where he came from, everything is settled. So he is on earth. But he has the breath of God. He is here. But he is a portal, he is a gate. The heavens and the earth communicate. So he lives on earth and lives in heaven. And that's why the devil envied him. And all the gods in heaven, they are wondering how is God feeling to own the man? What will happen if I own man? Because the greatest battle of thrones is who owns man. Because he that controls man controls the, do, the dominions. Because no one can operate within the realms of humanity without the permission of man. Even God who can override man he has refused to operate to override man and he lives within the protocols he set so God can't do anything on earth without man he does not override man he looks, he looks for a man because there must be an agreement that's why altars which are the ideas of God cannot operate on earth without agreement of a principality and a power and a ruler agreeing with a man a human being because outers are not a place outers are not a place Outers are atmospheres that are created through agreement between powers, rulers, principalities and gods all created between man and God. God. An agreement of an atmosphere within which spirits powers are allowed to have a medium of operation. That's why no devil can come to your house in the morning by himself. He must have been sent. Anenima salamanda. 
there must be a man to place an agreement within an atmosphere to create a portal to create an avenue oh, that where spirits will be released they will be allowed legally to operate by an atmosphere there must be a man I'm trying to come to my message because if I don't come from there you will not understand what I read so the man is on earth but he has an atmosphere of agreement with the creator of heavens and with the creatures of heaven he has an agreement that this atmosphere is where angels and the creatures of heaven will be able to travel within to be able to bring everything positive within the lives of humanity. Until the man. I said until the man. Who was living within the thought of God. Because he is not in the garden. To ask for anything. He is in the garden to be able to interact with the thought of God. It's within the garden to be able to interact with the purpose and the agenda and the mission of God. That's why as long as he has that interaction, no devil can be able to dethrone him. Because if a man lives within the the thought of God, there's no power that Baba, can stop um, the thought of God. When the devil wants to destroy the atmosphere, um, to, to, to disconnect the man, he visited the woman. What for? To introduce her to a different thought. Because a man's destiny can never be changed until his thought is changed. How what does he do? He comes to the woman and says, Did God say that you should not eat the fruit? Slap your neighbor, but realms of conversations are dangerous because they can bring a different thought in your life. Realms of conversations are, are dangerous because they can introduce you to a different thought. Now slap your neighbor and who are you conversing with? Who are you conversing with? Who are your friends? Who is with you? Because conversations can introduce you to a different thought. That's why if you walk with people who don't fear God, they start introducing you into another thought. Slap your neighbor a thought that releases you to a specific appetite. Because the devil cannot destroy you until he introduces you to an appetite. Slap your neighbor, but you are the way you are because of the appetites in your life.
Inamia Sakataya. So the devil says, Did God say? Is God said if we eat, we'll die. The devil said, No, 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 no. God knew you will not die. For that you will be like God. Slap your name, but it is called a thought of independence. Because appetites only capture with you in your independence. So long as you are subject to the rule of God, appetites can't catch you. So long as God is ruling your life, as long as appetites are dead within the realms of the triumph God. Because the greatest problem with the church began in heaven. The first man to proclaim independence was the devil. Slap your neighbor, but that's why the nations of the world are dying because all of them are proclaiming independence. Democracy. It's my right. Don't touch me. I can sleep with a woman when I'm a woman. I can sleep with a man when I'm a man. Don't touch me. It's my independence. It is in independence where men are destroyed by principalities. Because in independence, the enemy will fill you with the appetites of the leave within the heart of the enemy. I'm going there. That's a dangerous thing because if you want to understand what I'm talking about, you will have to visit the prodigal son. The devil devil is saying to the man, to the woman, you can be like God but without God ruling you. You can use the things of God and become what you are supposed to become without God ruling you. It is a lie. That's why the church is the way it is. The church wants to use God and the things of God to become something without allowing God to rule their lives. And the church is living within the era of Balaam and the ways of Balaam and the doctrine of Balaam. A man who is by God, but the posture of his heart is not right. He is filled with appetites. Because he has received a message of promise. The message of the false prophet. Because all false prophets they only carry a message of promise. They will never teach you how to walk with God and how to fear God and how to hear God but they will teach you the things of God. But I will tell you why. I will tell you why false prophets come. False prophets don't come by themselves. They come when people can't handle truth. 
Because when people don't love the ways of God and truth, God, God must introduce them to a false prophet to reveal their hearts. To reveal their hearts. To see whether your heart is after God or your heart is after things. That's why they don't preach God to you. They preach things of God. Namino Sapelagina Gamberia Le Suya Paya Shante Kapegadea Inania Nesalia Riama Gendule Marele Sierra Matia Gembura Saka Pagata I'm driving in the streets of Durban and I'm going to do a conference one day in Atosia. I come out of the hotel and they put me in this wonderful car. And this thing that comes on me comes on me. And I begin to weep. And my spirit is diving somewhere deep. Oh. And I'm saying, God, what are you doing to me? And I am there. I'm weeping. I don't know. But my spirit is searching for something. There are things you don't get until you break into the realms of groaning. Until you break into the realms of groaning. Where your spirit begins to cry. Because you're seeking for something you don't know, but your spirit is after it. The begins to call upon the deep. You sink You cannot float. You're going deep. And then when I am there, God said to me, Go tell my people to serve me because of who I am. Not because of what I do. Isn't that amazing? He said to me, my people cannot serve me until they are given a promise. And he said to me, that's why the false prophet is enjoying himself. He said, tell my people that I am not God because of what I do. Serve me because of who I am. What I do does not make me God. I am God even when you are dying. I am God even when you are losing your job. I am God even when your children are taking drugs. I am God. He said to me, tell my people nothing changes who I am. But who I am changes all things. Serve me because of who I am. Not because of what I do. Because most of us are not in church because of God. We are in church because of what God does. Some of you did not come with this Kesha because you wanted God. You came for what God would do. But God is looking for a man like Adam who lives in the presence of God not because of what God gives. But he lives, he lives in the place of interaction to interact with the thought of God. 
to interact with the imaginations of God to interact with the ideas of God to be empowered by the intentions of God because God did not create you for you he said to me even when I was creating you I was not thinking about you I was thinking about myself he said to me that's why I will not allow another to create you I had to create you by myself put in you all what I will need for you to fulfill my purpose slap your neighbor and tell your neighbor you are created by God for God and for his glory not for you And when the man was introduced to independence, he started living for himself everything he used to rule refused, refused to produce for him even the hearth that used to produce for him gave him thistles and thorns have you ever asked yourself why? Because when the earth discovered the man does not need fruit for the purpose of God. He needs fruit for his stomach. And because all things visible and invisible were created for the purpose of God, they said, so long as it's not for the purpose of God, we are not obligated to produce for you. Slap your neighbor, but that's why your business is refusing to produce for you. That's why your job can never bring satisfaction. Because there's nothing that a God gave you for you. He only gave you for himself. Because the work of man was to subdue and align everything with the purpose of God. Everything you don't align with the purpose of God is not obligated to bring fruit for you. Because God cannot feed your ego. I know what you wanted me to preach. I can see houses falling down from heaven. Cars are coming. If you came for a car, you are in the wrong place. If you came for a breakthrough, you are in the wrong place. Here. La? I came to introduce you to God. Uzo, uzo, 
I was talking to a pastor. I said to him, I know a man now needs God when he prays a prayer like this. Lord, I do not need anything except you. If I can be filled by you, I can be become an habitation of your glory. If I can become an habitation of your fire. If I can carry your thought and imagination. It will be okay with me. Because I was created for you, not for me. God said to me in Corona time. Because I was praying and saying, what is the voice of this event? Everybody is asking me, why don't you come to radio? Why don't you come to TV? We encourage the people. I said, I'm not doing ministry now. Because how can I do ministry without knowing the intentions of God? I don't preach because I know the Bible. I preach because I know intentions. Preaching because you know the Bible, you only become a religious man. Having religious rituals in church. And I said, Lord, what is the voice of this event? And he said to me, son, this event says I am calling my people to a long boardroom. I'm going to shut everything because my people are busy doing nothing. I want to call them. Into a and he said, This event is not more about the world, but more about the church. And he said to me, The boardroom is going to be long. I said, Lord, why the boardroom? He said to me, because I am calling my people to a place of conversation. A place of encounter. A place of divine conversations. Because there are things I'm bringing to a closure and there are things are beginning. And he said to me, it's in the place of divine conversations where I transform and form men. Why? To position them for functioning within my next agenda. Hi, shall hear repair. I wish I have someone I came to talk to. I wish I came to talk to even one person. Because God is raising another generation. He is calling another generation to the place of encounter. Because every time when God is fulfilling specific purposes within the prophetic Timetable of God. He clicks out a generation and he clicks in a generation. Within the prophetic time clock of God. But before he does that, 
He draws men to a place of divine encounter. There are some who are called. But he will bring them to a place of calling within their calling. Because their assignment within the purpose is changing. I wish I got someone I came to talk to. I wish I have a young preacher I came to talk to. Listen to me. Oh, Kappa Kappa Gandhi. Shandi Kappa. I felt something in my hand. I wanted to release it on someone, so don't worry. Shandilia, when I begin feeling this thing. A new generation must be born within the realms of divine conversations. Everyone that has missed the conversation within COVID has already missed the next positioning. Everyone that was busy doing ministry because they know they know the Bible. And Instead of coming to the place of conversation. For transformation and formation. For positioning. To function within the next agenda of the kingdom. Shanda Baganda. Hey, my brother, I, I, I decree, I decree upon your life divine, divine encounters. That there are, there are sons of God, they must ascend in heaven and they must be released from heaven. So you must be able to ascend, oh, into the presence of God. Sons are released from within the realms of the presence. What will happen to you if you collide with an anointing like this? Catalia, what will happen to you if you collide with an anointing like that? Kapukitia, Zapiria, Lagusamandia. Zentepetia la gandu separata. Ipomia nemia na suya paramanie. Ipapilanda shanduka pagada. Yele menia le parata. We'll get about the seats. We will buy others. Zipapita paganda. A collision. A collision. He is bathing you in fire because he must bathe you. He must bathe you. He must bathe you. He must bathe you in his glory. He must bathe you. He must bathe you. Kapakitaliya <laughs> What will happen to you if you get a collision? And then ziani amanasia, zipapi ali asuya paraya, ipari ali kasate me, zinti mad zintu pura, isapapali ataya. In every generation, in every dispensation, oh. as Adam, Jungle Adam was released from within the realms of the triangle to be able to rule over the earth because sons 
Don't come from within the earth. They are created from within the earth. But they are given from the presence of God. That's why the Bible says, Unto us a child is born. But unto us a son is given. That means that Jesus was born as a boy. He was a no, no more human being. His work was to grow as a human being. Until the time he will house Christ. Because he was not born as the Christ. He was born as the Jesus. The baby, the human being. Who is somewhere on the way. The heavens will give a son called Christ. And will come to dwell within the Jesus. Then the Jesus will become the Christ. Jesus, the one to come. Jesus Christ to Lord Uncle Jiwe. Hmm. This are new. This is a new generation. This new generation cannot operate in religion. You remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? In Aliamanagas, Kikalusaya, Zeperiata, Zepepipalia, Gamberia Legando, Shandukapa, Ipepepelina, Separata, Iperialia, Siente, Emono, Zamanda, Zepaparia, a new generation, Nakeko, Sitapa, Zantepaliane, Sielemiania. Mm -mm. You know, listen, I've not yet begun to preach. I'm laying a foundation. I'm going to preach within a short moment. So he comes from Adam. When he fell, God began to build generations by bringing men into his presence. Everyone who served their generation. Everyone who was able to rule over dominions and principalities and powers of his generation. He had to be brought to the place of divine encounter. That their destiny can be divined from a place of divine encounter. That their purpose may be divine within divine encounters. That their assignment may divine, be divine within divine encounters in the place of divine conversations. Hmm. Because only the realms of God the realms of Christ the realms of the past and the Holy Ghost can bring all other realms under control don't be too quick So he comes to the time of Isaiah. We are feeling his cat is got Isaiah. I chose Isaiah. You get to Isaiah in the presence of all men that it encounters like Abraham and, and Moses. And, you know, all prophets of the whole. From chapter one to chapter five. Chapter one, you go chapter one, get chapter five. He is a prophet. Um, who is prophesying within a specific dimension. But it looks like within the moment of his prophetic ministry, there is a king called Uzziah. 
And I'm asking myself a question. Why does the next level of, of Isaiah be, be, begins from the death of Uzziah? And I realize Ryan's are controlled between agreements between rulers of men and rulers of principalities. So within, within my thinking, within my understanding in the spirit, I'm looking at on the day that Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. And I'm wondering, is it just the timing of seeing God or did something happen for you to see God? Because every rule has a wind and an influence. Because every ruler is controlled and functions within agreement of specific powers, if not the power of God. And I'm, I'm thinking so hard. Could there be a possibility? Then when Uzziah was ruling as a ruler, he had agreement with wrong spirits that are, that are created an atmosphere and they created a wind and they created an influence. Because every throne releases an influence. Every throne releases a wind. And it looks like Isaiah is prophesying, but he is caught up with the wind, he is caught up with us with a, with an influence. His realms are being devoured by the wind. He is prophesying, but he is under influence. He is developing unclean lips. Slap your neighbor prophesying but with unclean lips. Because the devil does not want you to stop prophesying. The devil does not want you to stop praying. He does not want you to stop worshiping. But if you can only bring an influence that would devile you, he will allow you to do religious acts. Because he knows if your realms are divided, there is a potential peak you will never reach. There's a dimension of operations that you will not be allowed to break into. Oh, oh, na ni na masalata ya, ora paralata yanda. Oh my God, I don't know what came to talk to here. Slap your name and tell some of you you don't even know what is happening to you. You are, in the, you, are in the, you are in the midst of a wind. You are in the midst of an influence. You are in church. But the wind that is driving you and the influence that's driving you, you can't explain. You're singing in the choir. But you're driven by appetites of your flesh. Leave him this guy alone. This guy, leave him alone. Leave this guy alone. Leave this guy alone, man. Leave this guy alone. This guy. And you, Jenny. Hey! You wait. 
sit until I tell you your seat has become fire. Don't drink too early. Be before it becomes really cooked. He likes us to peg a corner, man. Ah, ah, in a man, Sata. Look at your neighbor, but you don't know where you are. There are things you can't control. I sat there. I was coming to preach about the realms of life. But God said to me, they are not ready for realms of life. Some things must be dealt with. Some wind must die. Some influence must be lifted. Some outers that are operating against you must sink. Outers that are working against you. Releasing influence within your realms, they need to die. You need to be loose. You need to be amongst in a pool of fire. You need to be amongst in the pool in the pool of his glory. Until every influence is swallowed. Until everything is dead. That is within those days. When God said to me, Son, there is a place only for the dead people. Where everybody cannot operate. There are realms that are only accessed by a dead people. Dead to every appetite of the flesh. Dead to every pride of life. Dead to every lust of the flesh. Dead to every lust of the highs until they are dead there is a realm you can't access realms will resist you when you are alive because they only allow a dead people dead to self dead to their own will dead to their own purpose and agenda they live only for God they are finished with the world and when I was in that atmosphere lamani elekia lapara I'm coming from, from a place and I walk into my room. Into my sitting room. I did not know that I entered an atmosphere. I did not know that I entered an altar. If you, if you want to know, once a, an, an atmosphere has been made an outer, it will never cease to be an outer. If you want to know, ask the grandson of Abraham. When he stumbled in Bethel. A place where his father has built an altar. Where he created a portal, a place of atmosphere of the person where angels go up and down. The moment he stumbled in there. Slap your neighbor, he saw heavens open. He connected to an atmosphere where heaven communicates with the earth. So I broke into my own outer. I 
I began to cry. Something was on me. I cried. I sit on my seat. I said, Lord, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I cry. My heart wants to burst. And I'm quiet. And he said to me, son, I've been waiting for you here. I said, Lord, in my house? He said to me, no. I've been waiting you in this place. In this realm. Where everything everyone else is seeking is not what you are seeking. When you are dead to what men are looking for. When the world is crucified to you and you are crucified to the world. When what men desire is not what you desire. I've been waiting for you here. He said to me, there are things you could not access until you got here. In this realm, where everything in this world has lost meaning. Where all what you want is me. And then he said to me, what he give me? You are not just dead enough, you will still die. I said, kill me. Kill me. Kill everything that needs to die. He said to me, the dimensions you could not access. Dimensions of operations within my atmospheres. Because every realm is an atmosphere. Within which specific dimensions of the operations of God have been sanctioned and sealed and done. If you access it, you begin to see a manifestation you've never seen before. You begin to operate in dimensions of the supernatural that you've never operated in before. No, you, you people, you're not understanding. It's all right. Leave her alone. Mm. Some things are leaving. She's immense in the fire. Mm. I speak to the rhymes that are control you. Oh, you Ryams. I call you out from everything that controls you. In the name and within the realms of the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. Let there be a melting and an evaporation. Ha! You are within what I call the glory that which scans you in a glory that radiates everything out of your life, radiated out in Jesus' name. Put her on a seat. In the name of Jesus. 
So what happens? The man is within a deviled realm. And then the Bible says, and Uzziah died. Now, we come from Africa, we understand the context. A stop following her everywhere. Sit her down by force. Sit her down or lay her down. Or you bring her here to me. I show you what needs to be done. Because she, the devil wants to use that as a disturbance. For you not to get. Bring her here. I know she doesn't want to come here. You. 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 Look at me. You. Die within our system. In the name of Jesus. Go. Go. Everything that I came into your life like hair evaporate. 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 In the name of Jesus. Leave her alone. Don't fall. Don't fall out. Just leave her alone. Devils lack attention when the word is being preached. We will deal with that later. Hey. 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 You. You're going to be a carrier of glory. I will pray for you later. I will pray with you later because we must preach. Because if I do a mistake, I will lose my interpreter. And don't bongo, they will not help me. <laughs> so what happens? In Africa, we understand the context of spirits and men. When there's an atmosphere controlled by the witch, when the witch dies, the spirits have got no power to function. That's why they always look for someone to inherit. And if it happens, the one to inherit has already found Jesus. That, that cycle is broken. Because they can't function without an agreement with a human being. So what happens? And Uzziah died. And Uzziah died. I come to announce that every atmosphere that controls your realms and causes your realms to be, to be devoured, supernaturally God will stop it from functioning. We call it a supernatural act of God. Isaiah, Isaiah did, not, did not pray for it because he was in a place he could not pray. He is carried by a wind. It's carried by an influence. But there comes a time when God cannot allow his purposes to be frustrated. We are at a verge when God is raising up a new generation for end time purposes. And that's why God is going to kill many influences and kill many women. 
means. His glory. Slap your neighbor, but his glory is going to begin to arise from the church. His presence is going to begin to arise from within Zion. I said his presence is going to begin to arise from within Zion. A season for judging everything that has been trying to devour your life. But you've got to understand something. Even if God kills it, your life cannot change until you encounter God. He can kill the witch, but you will not be free until you encounter God. So what happens? He said, and when Uzziah died, the one who was hiding the glory and the presence of God for me, I saw the Lord. Slap your neighbor, but everything new begins by an encounter of seeing Him. God said to me that this is going to be a season of divine encounters. There's going to be specific visitations of God. You will come to a service like this and you are coming for a religious service only to encounter with a glory you can't handle. Some of you came tonight for a normal common function only to find that God has invaded your common function. Jesus can be quiet in the wedding of Khan of Galilee. He is sitting in the midst like God in the midst of the church but the people can't sense his presence because they are drinking the brew of men. They are exchanging some brew of men. Some, some wine cooked by the flesh of men. And that's where the church has been. We are enjoying the brew of men. That, that which excites us in the flesh but never touches the spirit. But a time has come when God is ending the wine of man. The brew of the flesh is coming to an end. And the twain of his temple, his twain, his twain fills the temple. And the seraphims, I'm a seraphim. the angels that are jealous of the righteousness and the holiness of God. Those who don't even face the holiness of God, they cover their faces. They don't even expose themselves to the presence of God. They cover their faces, they cover their feet. Their work is to guard the righteousness and the holiness of God. 
They are beings who guard the presence of the holiness of God. And he says, I saw them begin to fly. And they begin to they began to speak. To sensitize me where I am standing. They are crying holy. 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 There's the Lord God of us. Isaiah. Isaiah. You are standing within the midst of the sanctity of the presence of God. Isaiah, you've been exposed to the sanctity of his glory. And the Bible says, and the voice that I spoke shook the post of the doors. And the smoke filled the temple. His glorious presence filled the temple. And as they cried, Holy, Holy, I was exposed to the light of God, to the light of His glory. I have an encounter. Because divine encounters, they come to reveal you to you. Because the heart of man is so wicked that even a man himself does not know it. Even you, you can't know yourself until you are exposed to the light of God that lightens your darkness. That's why when he was raising the New Testament son and preacher, who is the example of the New Testament church? Who was, not with, who was not with just Jesus in the flesh? A saw of Tarsus. He is zealous performing serious religious activities. Movements and vibrations that look like God is there, but God is not there. Look at your neighbor, you can be too busy for God, but God is not in it. And when God wants to reveal to him who he is, suddenly, the God who dwells within the, the unapproachable lights, he decided to remove his hand from his light and his light was and the man is hit by a light from heaven and suddenly he goes blind Slap your neighbor, he was seeing, but what was he seeing? He thought he was operating in the light, but the light he called his light was the greatest darkness in his life. Because when God wants to kill selfish things that you think they are of God, he exposes you to his light. He went blind for three days and three nights and within the three he was praying. Why? Why? Because divine encounters, they introduce a man to a new realm of intercessions. 
Don't tell me you met with God and your prayer life is dead. Don't tell me you Don't tell me you met with God and your prayer life is dead. Don't tell me you met with God and your prayer life is dead. You can't meet with God and your prayer life is dead. He never knew how to pray, but for three days and three nights he prayed. Because divine encounters, they introduce you to intercessions. We call it the realms of the intercessions of Christ. Yeah, the realms of the intercessions of Christ. Where men pray as, as Christ is praying. They are not the ones who are praying, but Christ by the Spirit is praying through them. There is a realm where your prayer can never die. You enter into the place of the, your closet and you are there. Two hours you are still there. It does not die. You pray until you begin to understand what you're praying. You pray until you start seeing what you're praying. Ah. Are you understanding? Ooh. So what happens? The light. Hey, hey. The man who has been prophesying and he never felt like his lips were God exposes the posture of his heart. Now look at your neighbor and tell why the heart? Because the system of the kingdom of God, who is Jesus Christ, he does not transact with the realms of humanity until he finds a heart. That's why generation after generation, God is trying the reins of the hearts of men. To give every man according to the posture of his heart. She was an intercessor, but with the heart of the devil. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor the kingdom of God transacts with the hearts. The system of the kingdom always Jesus Christ who controls all things. And in, all, in him all things consist and he upholded all things and he is the heir of all things. He does not transact with the realms of humanity until he finds a heart which is a platform of transactions. I know some of you are saying, but what will I do with my life? Because my life is so bad. I've done so many bad things. Slap your neighbor. Tell your neighbor what you have done can never be changed. But can, can, can be erased out of your life and have a new beginning. Because God does not come to you from the past. He comes to you from the future. Slap your neighbor about your future is secured. One day God gave me a message called the prophetic word to his beloved. The prophetic word to his beloved. That the thought of God and his prophetic word does not change because his beloved is still in the bar selling a body. 
ukuthi inqabango kaNkulunkulu ngabatha ngabathandiweyo bakhe inqabango yakhe yes professor ayina kuguqulwa ngoba abathandela betheliqo until the day you return iyalinda inqabango yakhe kulolo suku la uzobuya khona when you return you will come and find everything he thought about you was not a race has been waiting for you la ubuya khona uyakwazi ukubona ukuthi yonke into yeqabanga ngayo ngawe ikulindile That's why the gospel is good news. Slap your neighbor and say good news. If you want to know what I mean, ask Joseph. What his father thought about him never left him though the son was sold and he never knew where the son was. But when you come to Genesis almost the last chapter you hear the father saying and Joseph shall be a fruitful boy. Oh, shall be that, a, that a extends his branches above the wall. Oh, And the Bible says he that was hated by his brethren. Ah, he said his blessing shall be bigger than the blessing of his progenitors. He waited. The son got lost but the prophetic words never left. The thought never left. The problem is not with God. The problem is you who does not want to return. Slap your name, but you think you know me too much. Because you know my past and you know what I did. Slap your name, but you are operating like the devil. Join my God and operate from the future. Because you may think I'm finished, but you don't know whether my heart is returning. He said, who is me? Who is me? For I am a man with unclean lips. And I dwell among men with unclean lips. And my eyes have seen the Lord God of us. Slap your neighbor with the light of encounters. Reveals you to you. Why? That you may reveal yourself to God. Not because he does not know you. But he will expose you to you. That he may give you an opportunity to expose yourself to him. Because God does not change what you hide. He changes what you expose. No wonder the Bible says if a man hides his sin, he shall not prosper. Why do you think, why do you think that scripture was written? Because he knew some will be corrupted by winds. You are in church, but you can't stay without sleeping with a man. But on Sunday you are Huraba. 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 Slap your neighbor. May God reveal you to you. Amen. 
And when he reveals it to you, don't be an hypocrite. Reveal yourself to him. And when he says, I agree with you, my lips are really unclean. God, I agree with what you say about me. I, I confess what you say about me is what I have. Slap your neighbor with the angels that guard the righteousness and the holiness of God. They, they access the altar of fire. The angels that are jealous of the righteousness and holiness of God. They access the altar of fire. They took a call from the altars of fire they said because you agreed with God this, this realms of God will change you to look like the realms slap your neighbor my neighbor he is going to bathe you in this in the pool of fire. I said he's going to bathe you in the pool of his glory. He began to show me what happened to Isaiah. Because his glory in the presence. Number one, it became a scanning glory. Like the scanning machine that has scans disease and cancers in your body. Everything exposed. Yes, I agree with you. Then the same glory changes. It's not an exposing glory. It's not a scanning glory. It becomes a radiation glory. And as cancers are radiated out, everything dirty is radiated by fire. Oh, slap your neighbor, but there's going to be a season of the radiation glory. Now there's something about the radiating glory. When it radiates out everything, it does not walk out. It lives within you and then you become the current of the radiation glory. And that's why the body of a human being can radiate glory. Mm. Someone here. In the pool of his glory. Someone here, I said. And everything. He will baptize you. He will bathe you. He will baptize you. He will immerse you. In the pool, he will immerse you. In the, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm beginning to feel it. It is here. It is here. It is here. It is happening right here. You, you like covering people too much. Just leave them alone. That thing. 
is God scanning glory. Scans everything in you. Akepakataya. Shandu parina separitiye. Ziya tie, tie the legs like you have been taught how to do it. And then me nun zambura mi nega sepa mita biale da ziandika. Zampa paliania. Eparataya. Shandu pakate pera paritia. Zipi paliania sepa panataya. Yakapada, 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 Shantapali, Etiliamandaya, Zepurataya, consecrated and separated, separated, separated from every work of the enemy, separated, separated. In an inanemana, in an inia, Asaya, Kalialia Paraladas. Zipopuro boko saka papataya. Ha! Inanama sakata. Ha! Anene genda pe gandi pe sita pe ratia. Iporapa ke si miania. Zantepa. 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 Ipapitaya. Shantiparaki akata yendea. Katayendea in Tapeliania, Santa Peradiatea. Bokopuro Boko Sipepelia. I speak to you, Rams of the enemy. Inania Zayadaya. The capacite pepirandi. Zabokatayana. Radiated out of our system. Out. Bam. Within a system, you end, you end, you end, you end. Tasela laba, shanini elemenia, ura parala yanzanda. In those setelia teladi, strangling in life is a dangerous thing. In the Paliadia, Zopurama, Capeliadia. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You need to collide with the glory. Shandurama Ramanda. Put it down. Put it down. Ketatia Leoparayas. Zipapi Italiana. Zante Paganda. Ooh, ooh, an exposure. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't bring you here for anything else. He brought you here tonight. I get to go and get to the corner, Lana. In 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 close to your key, you go get to Lana. To scan you by His word. Oguti awa zukuboni si sange zuila ke. Because this night. Shall be the beginning of your nights. This is the night of the cancellation of all your yesterday. I said, This is the cancellation. This is what the scriptures in, in, in Genesis 12, verse 1. Genesis verse 12, verse 1. Speak unto Israel. And tell them this shall be the beginning months of their of their lives and of their calendar. I am ending all the calendars of four of of four hundred years. With all the bondage within it. And I'm causing you to begin to count. I'm bringing an end to moments of cry. To moments of trouble. Minali Amana. Yagasaka, you. You stand, stand up. <laughs> Ooh. You're worried about falling. Falling is not a thing. The radiation is the thing. 
When everything you struggle with in your life comes to an end. When things you don't know how to quit end within a moment and never sort about. Shatekalia. Oh, in an amendu zaparama. Shakala pata. I wish there was a. I wish there was a. There was a woman pastor to help me. There are things I'm not supposed to do. But now I have got no one to help me. So I have to. And I disconnect you from every umbilical cord attachment. That causes things of generations to flow within your life. I cut off the umbilical cord. Cut off. Cut off. Cut off. Everybody stand on your feet. I kill everything. I kill it by the fire of God. I kill it. I kill it. Everything you're stronger with, I kill it. Anema setapagandia. Zintapelatelia. Eparama sakapagadaya. Yatelala paralana. Zempapalinia. Zipopo roboko saka pagande. Ah, ah, le parala sata. Zintalia remandia. Ya, ya, ya. I break every cycle you've been circling in in your life. I command it to melt like wax. Everybody lift up your hands. Open your mouth and tell him, Lord, bathe me, bathe me, bathe me in your fire. Lift up your hands and tell him, bathe me. Paramis is under Zaka, it's in Kulunkulung Gisambe. In the pool of your fire. I'm tired of specific things within my life. Bathe me, bathe me, bathe me. Keep on swimming in his fire because everything is leaving you. Keep on swimming. Keep on swimming in his fire. Everything is walking out. Everything is walking. Keep on swimming in his fire. Keep on swimming. Swim. Swim in his fire. Swim. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Everything is leaving you. Everything is burning. Everything is evaporating. It will just go. Lift up your hands. Some of the sicknesses will die. The death. Growths will die. Sicknesses that they say can never leave you will die. Will can... Close your eyes and lift up hands. God does not touch us when we are talking. He touches us when we are quiet. Glory. He is laying hands on people right now. He's ah. laying hands on people right now. He's laying hands on people right now. Kepanina liada. Shandula peralia seta. Sipa papata. Yes, yes, my sister. That's the glory. That's the glory. He's laying hands on you. Everything that is against your life is coming under fire. I said it's coming. It's coming under the glory. It's coming under the fire. Oh yes, 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 yes. Close your eyes, you will miss what God is doing because you are looking around. Your flesh is too busy. Ooh. 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 Amongst, amongst. Oh my God. Things that have been troubling you at night, things that make your mind travel when you are asleep, they are melting from within your intellect. Oh yes, you are from within the realms of your consciousness. 
the realms of your consciousness the realms of your consciousness that it takes you to the evil world when you are asleep ah! it's melting 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 out of your life ah! Oh, my sister, that thing you've been struggling with within your body, within your life, is melting. It's melting. It's under fire. You are immersed in his fire. You are immersed in his glory. Yeah. Yeah. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. He says, open your mouth and I will fill it. Open your mouth and I will fill it. Begin to say something. Begin to say something. If you can't know how to pray, begin to say hallelujah. Begin to say hallelujah. If you don't know how to say anything, just say hallelujah. 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 Just say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your fire. Oh, my interpreter. May you be a great woman of God within your generation. Within your generations. Within your generations. Within your generations. Within your generations. Oh God, a woman raised by you with the this, with this spiritual understanding and knowledge and wisdom that are flowing with them from the throne of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, Asha are into Ryan's of your glory, realms of your glory, Lemenia Leparana, Zinta Pelagitaya. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. There's a glory, 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 there's a there's a wind of his presence. There's a glory resting upon people right now. There's an anointing like liquid fire, like liquid fire, like liquid fire, like liquid fire. Oh my God, people on my left here, there is fire, there's fire, there's fire resting on you, there's fire resting, there's glory. Young generation, young generation, young generation, young generation, young generation that needs an encounter of the power of God. Young people, young people, young people, God release fire on the young generation. Cause them to burn under the fire of the Holy Ghost. Someone pray, oh Lord, I offer my body as a living sacrifice. I hope I, I offer my body, I offer my body, I offer my body, I offer my body as a living sacrifice. In the name of Jesus, Father, I declare healings within the sanctity of your presence. In the name of Jesus, and God began to reveal, we are coming to a season. That this is not the season of the gifts. Not when people are operating within the gifts of the Spirit. We are coming into a season that is not just a season of the anointing. We are coming to the season of his presence. I said a season of his presence. Season of his presence. A season of his presence. A season of his presence. A season of his glory. A season of of his presence, a season of his glory, a season of his presence. When things happen because of the presence of God upon your life, not because of your gift, not because of your talent, when you are swallowed by his glory, you are swallowed by his presence, you are swallowed by his glory, you are swallowed by his presence. This is a night of forgiveness. This is a night of cleansing. It's a night of returning. Don't say anything. Be quiet. Get up here. Be quiet. Don't say anything. He does not speak to touch people when they are talking. He touches them when they are quiet. Lift up your hands and be quiet. Close your eyes. Father, thank you. From seat to seat. No. Open your mouth and let the tongues flow. Don't enter. Mm. Mm. It does not touch us when we are talking. It touches us when we are quiet. There's a glory. Stop looking around unless you are Asha. There's a glory resting upon people. There's an anointing like liquid fire reigning over you, reigning over you, reigning over you. Yes, 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 yes. 
Everything you've been fighting with in your flesh is coming under fire right now. Everything is being purged with fire. Purged with fire. Purged with fire. Glory. 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 Yes, my sister, glory. Yes, mama, glory. Glory, that's it. That is his glory. Let it, let it sink. 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 Kanina lianataya. Inanina setalepa. Zempera liandia. Ooh. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and worship him. Open your mouth and love him. I said open your mouth and worship him. Don't ask him for anything. Open your mouth and say, tell him how much you love him. How much you love him. How much you love him. This thing must leave you. Walk out. Walk out quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Leave our system right now. Go. Get out through the mouth and go. Now. Go. 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 Leave her completely. Leave her. Leave her completely. The way you walked into our belly is the way you walk out. Walk out. Walk out. Walk out like a wind that you walked in like. Go. 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 Hmm? Hmm? Be set free. I declare that at Jesus Christ, the realms of his life, set you free. <laughs> Lift up hands, everybody. Father, a new generation, a generation of glory, a generation of your presence, a generation of great intercessors, People were within the realms of the spirit, the realms of utterances. Oh. Open your mouth, open your mouth and talk to God. Tell him, tell him what you feel within your spirit. If you feel like screaming, scream. I said, tell him, tell him. Just open your mouth, just open your mouth. Open your mouth and let it flow. Open your mouth. Everybody in this room that you know your life is not right with God. You know, in one way or another, you are a backslider. I want you right now to leave where you are standing and walk and stand here. This is a night of returning. You know your life is not right with God. You know you're a backslider. Or you know you've never received Jesus. Walk and stand here quickly. I said, walk and stand here quickly. I'm, I want to pray. I'm closing this meeting right now. I'm closing this meeting right now. I'm closing this meeting right now. I'm closing. Mm -hmm. Only you alone. Mm, are worthy of glory. I said, walk here. Walk here. Walk here. You are not born again. You know your life is not right with God. Walk here now. Walk here now. Walk here now. Come, 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 come quickly. Don't worry about what people think about you. This is not about people. This is about your future. Your future is talking to you. Come, come, come quickly. Come quickly. You know your life is not right with God. You know. You know. Quickly. You know. You know your life is not right with God. You know. In, in a way, you are backslidden. No one knows, but you know. And you are saying, Lord... I don't want to miss the hour of my grace. This is the night of grace. Don't cast away the day of your grace. Come. Come. Lift up your hands before the presence of God. Ah. Hey. 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 Cry, sister. Don't worry about anybody. I am a crier like you. I know what it means to weep. 
pray this prayer after me in English. Say, Father, in Jesus' name, I come to you. You know me. And I say yes to how you know me. I expose myself to you in all my ways. Cleanse me by your fire. Cleanse me by the blood of Jesus. Every past hands now, you take it away now. You usher me into my future in Christ. I receive my future. I receive my future. I receive my tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Yesterday and everything within yesterday. They are shut. They are radiated out of my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus name. Father set her free. Set him free. be broken. Set him free. Set him free. Let her enjoy the future with hope. In the name of Jesus Christ, so let it be according to your thought. Let your thought rule within our imaginations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I consecrate you. I consecrate you. From the top of your head to the source of your feet. I separate you from every work of the enemy. I declare you separated. In Jesus name. Now. As I walk out of this place. And, and give the man of God the microphone to continue. I know you gave an offering. But I want every one of you to get in your pocket. Now don't give to receive. Give us an act of devotion and honor. The offering we are giving is an offering of saying Lord. Me and everything I am. I submit to your purpose. I live to cause your purpose to be successful. This is a sacrificial offering. Of saying, I lay down my life to you. I'm not giving to receive. I'm giving us an act of surrender. So get in your pocket. God said to me, Son, I don't bless you for what you do. I bless you for what you do according to the grace I gave you. If you reject your grace, I can't bless you. Some of you have got a grace of giving a thousand rand right now. Someone can transfer 2,000 now. Someone can swipe 5,000 now. Right now, because you have the grace, you're not looking for it. Not because you want anything from God. But because you acknowledge who he is. In the name of Jesus Christ. So get in your pocket. Everyone working and doing business. Accept that God blessed you not for you but for him. And take out an offering that equals your grace. If you can give 5,000 tonight, don't give rest. Less. If you can give 500, don't give less. 
Uma uzo wazu nigela ngo 500 unge nigeli nge ngani. So start walking. And put it on this altar. If what you have is 100, it's not how big it is, it's the posture of your heart. If what you have is a 50, God knows. Just move. Do I have what do we have what the, do we have what the South Africans call the speed point? Hey, you know, I, I don't understand how they call it the speed point. It's for people that are running speed. The sister is there. Are you the one having it? If you want to swipe, move in there. Just be obedient to God. Walk with your card and swipe there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody. I'm waiting. Everybody walk down. There's some of you that need to swipe a thousand right now. You need to swipe a thousand right now. Swipe it. Swipe that one thousand right now. Come on, move everybody. Move everybody. According to your grace. According to your grace. Don't sit down. I said it's time to give. No time for sitting down. So just walk. Just walk. Just walk. If what you have is 20 rand, is 10 rand. God knows. He knows. Allow the posture of your heart to serve God. Walk, 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 walk quickly, 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 quickly. In the name of Jesus. Just walk, just walk. Quickly, 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 quickly. How many of you say, I, how many of you say, I come again? How many of you are saying, come again, Brother Mlumbi? Oh, you don't, you don't like me. Okay, let me go home. Oh, this, the sister, the sister, the sister has to stop to interpret for me. So there's trouble. People are not hearing. Where is my interpreter? Oh, my interpreter. Line up there. Swipe. Swipe your card. My interpreter, where did you go now? Why are you not helping me? Oh, you want to get your card. You are dangerously swiping. Oh, swipe more than everybody. I say, how many of you want me to come back? Can I? Can I visit you on Sunday morning? Are you sure? This man, this man must release me. This man. Now you don't have any link to Lule. You see, now they are they, they are trying to agree. They are trying to agree. Can I come on Sunday? 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 The question is, are you going to bring more people? Umbuzo, uti ni na nizo letter banya, noma nizo member banya bantu. How many of you will come with a friend on Sunday? Banga gigi na bazo letter umga ninge sol. I said, how many of you will bring a friend on Sunday? Banga gigi na bazo letter umga ninge sol. If I see you are going to bring people, I will come. Oh man, gin bona nizo wazo letter banta bazo fi. How many of you will try to bring one person or two? Banga gigi na bazo letter banto munge noma babi. I will see you on Sunday. Gizon bona ninge sol. Very early in the morning. And when I'm done, I will be on my way. Yeah, but I will come again. Yes, and again. And again. Because I love you. And because I know where he began. When he had no shoes like this, he was sleeping in the church without, without a place. This guy. I remember I called him. I said, You come here. I said to him, Listen to me carefully. I said, You. You are the least of all the preachers here. But I said, let me tell you. Within a short moment, they will be looking at you there. They will not understand how you got there. So I know where he comes from. And that's why when we met, I said to him, let me come and see where you 
I'm telling you, he could not believe that I'm coming, even himself. I know he was asking one of my one of my daughters, is really your father coming? Are you sure? <laughs> but I says, my father does not lie. Because I am not controlled by masses, I'm controlled by purpose. Even, even if you are a five, I will still come. And I will preach to you as though you are a thousand. God bless you. Thank you so much, Fundis. Fundis, wow. Fundis, wow. Thank you. Yabon. Thank you for the opportunity Yabon. that you granted me to serve these people. Ugutin wazu konza lababandi. Keep up the good work. Uwazu gukta yunum sebenzo muhi. Live for God with the whole of your heart. Upile lungulungulu ngeki joe yako yoke. Serve God's people with love. Ugwazu konza bandu anabangulungulungu otango. Embrace all of them. It doesn't matter how they look. It is within your realms that they will be transformed. David started. Hey, people are still running. Hey. David started with the useless men. But they became the mighty men. They became the mighty men of David. They may not be mighty. They may not be rich. But soon, they will become the mighty people. When you take care of them, you pray for them. You groan for them. You cry for them. You protect them, them within your realms. You fight their battles in the spirit. And suddenly you have mighty women and mighty men. Those who are giving 20 rand, they start giving 2,000 rand. Those who are giving 10, they start giving 1,000. Because they have become the mighty men and women within your realms. Make them become on your knees and by loving them. Don't, don't lose any one of them. Like me, I don't lose my sons. The devil can eat my son and fall under the sea. I will jump into the sea and get you out. You put my, you put my sons in the mud. I will come to that mud and take them out and wash them. Jesus said, the ones you gave me, I did not lose any. Except the son of perdition. The one that I was holding, but he was slipping through my fingers. The secret of ministry. And you will enjoy your labor. Father, I bless your people with the blessing of God and with the blessing of the men of God. Bless every giver that everything they touch and do cause it to prosper. In Jesus' name I prayed and we all shouted amen and amen. Amen. Asimshalinga kulumposto le kamele kosi. 
Singenza, no no basalone, no look at Sinzangago. I guess Shannon Dota and Gulugulizan, Kulek, and Mende go set to chess. Hallelujah. Again, Shia Lutik of Basalanizan, the Mai Botan Kosian. Way, way, way. I am Mazu Tito Minaguti and the Unja, no Gulugula. I guess I'm Shalinizan, the Gulugula Kulu. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I guess probably yes, we sat the school. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Thank you so much. I'm speechless. I can be there for two years. Abandabawas of Ladin and Babas of Kumbu Laga. Now Kumulamas was Kumbu is a Nakubula Gatha. Is really confirmation. Ata Mokalo Ata Mosbin is win. Abebakona on Wednesday we pray a meeting. Is really the realm of the spirit. Man of God, thank you so much. See you on Sunday. We are Buya Sunday, Basalana. Let's go and invite Abantu. He's coming back on Sunday. Uzo Minister, Uzo Kala Lagiti, Ekamele Kosetuche. So thank you, Apostle. God bless you. Bashaleni Zanta Kakul Basalane Kamele Kosetu Chesu Basapuma Ekamele Kosi. I guess Pagamis Zanta Zetung Funajes, your Kulega, Unkulukulum Sevens of Nengusa Wenzil, Use Wenzil, Ogamages of Catalina Jimbegi Sanda, Ekamele Kosetu Chesu, Sevens in Unkulukulum Sevens the Sile, Umpostil Paga to Way to Ekamele Kosetu Chesu, Umnazareta Lotuele. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I guess Pagamis is under Zetu. Eka Mende Gosetu, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Agutingwa. Agutingwa. Siba. Gobuche.
Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. We give you glory. Master, we give you honor. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I guess I'm pinning for the last time. I can bend the gospel to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Oh, glory to Jesus. Was a man of God, Pastor Kiwa Uzotanda, Zeka, Mende Mose to Chase. Shai Zandro, Fulumlo Mukule, Jalukulukulu Tungue, Nage Konsengai, Jalukutaga Konga Fandi Sonai, Shai Zandra Guga Kondok Shoyo Gungulu. Glory to Jesus. 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 You are worthy to be praised, O oh God. We worship and adore you, Father. We give you glory, God. We give you honor. Thou art worthy to be praised. Your name is Jehovah. There is no other God besides you. You are the one who has a needs. The one that is to come. Forever living God. Eternity Father. Master of the universe. You are highly exalted. You are highly lifted. Arise Jehovah. May all your enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. We worship and adore you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bless you. We worship you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Shiva <laughs> Ye kama le osa tu chesu, ye kama le na manta, ye kama le pili le yo. Sibonga babu kuti sas pili sile, sibonga babu kuti sas kululagi le. Babe kama ne liga chesu, chesu kwani si silako. Elite si au begi zanka, wena beso wenzum sabens, baba si abongo tum sabens so fasi. Sasi kwa ni sisi, si kwa ni sisi pano. Yaka maliga chesu, wase nazareta. Musi salo na lo ngulu ngulu tu. Musi salo na leon chebeta yeso isula ko. Eka meni liga chesu presu. Um nazareta pili la yo. Um nazareta ngwele. Si abonga ngulu ngulu tu. In Jesus' mighty name, I guess some shy lizanka kulu kulu kule kamende gosa tu Jesus. Oh, hallelujah! I some shy le ni shambel kulu. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uma katalo gum shy lizanka. Uma tina ugum kabe ni sata. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, glory to God. You are worthy, Father. You are worthy, Master. We thank you. We thank you. We bless your holy name. We worship and adore you, Father. Thank you, Master. 
In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. For the last time I get some opinion, get some well for me. Thank you. Sebonga kulva zola nukulu kulan bose se. Yatela jokbeke zanga. Pesu kabu bonga bantu. Abanyo oredo mposto lo se kaba kulegele. Bakululegi la bantu ba kulungulu bashale ni zanga. Eka mende kose tu chesu. Praise the Lord. Si abu yage ksasa. Eka mende kose tu chesu. Si me me se invite abantu. Eka mende kose tu chesu. Uyabu yage mposto lo on Sunday ksasa. Eka mende kose tu chesu. Abanyo basaba job tongo. Eba kote utumu kabele nga mshanje. Friday yu zulengo 12 kazalwani. Usata day na mshanje. Eka mende kose. Sanga be sasa la pansi. Tala njama asha. Aba skot kwa ilu mnigelo. Ya tala njama asha. Tala njama mnigelo. Eka mende kose tu cheso. Aba skot kwa mnigelo. Aba utatu nga wabanga wanshanga nisa ma mnigelo. Eka mende kose tu cheso. Kasi obegi zanja keba zalwani. Ungulu kulu se wenze ni msebe nsa geni mshale ni zanja. Banga kababu se sagine gompostoni. Au, se busa sagine sonke. Se pinde se mi invite abu ye futi. Se bene mfu sele lo tre teiz. Ay, mfu sele lo ne angfu kamba mangi tegu angin tembi mfu sele lo. Bona le zingi ndau mfu sele lo ay zaba pambi. Mfu sele, umisha tuze nge mfu sele lo nge ay tati kap. Umana suza mokokanaiza ayo mshatuze ayo bamba imvu selelo kuhu. Ayo nina ni right la go 6 to 6 na go Sunday. Eka mene kusisi ya bonga kulu bazo la nukulu kulu anibuse sengi la njesi pagamenti na sonke. Geze nyawo. Gibegi zanja pezu kwa bandona bangu kulu kulu. Mopeta ma document ako. Uwa kipe nje mbegi zanja. Mopeta CV yako. Anything nje yako ipete uwa ikipa. Manga bune CV, iwi cell phone yako, uveze, lapa wi screen sako, i CV yako, eka mene kose tu cheso, se ikule gele, glory to Jesus. Sbongi lus konzile, umundu gankulu gulu, eka mene kose tu cheso, hai se file vazalwani. Meti, ey, isilo usake man, nise suile, anchalo interpreta weti zanja, hai uwai mbambilu mbambile, Ayum bambi lo bambi le, ayum bambi lo hambe na ayi. Ya ukale watu ukale watu tosa tosa zima. Ayi watu ni mzuile na sange ne keri ni ngezo tayi. Unge ni ne gebanje wa hamba na ayi. Msha leli zanju kulu kulu. Mfena mala ine abe utu abanye bazo vela ngapa. Au ya bona ni angkaza usini ya wazo vela no mteto na ika. Uutu kukala nje banta bata ala gube ibona pambi ni. Eka mene kwa sabanyi bazo vela ngapa. Sibegi zanja. Ya tela ke kisasa. Ukuti bazalwane. Sistri le iskati. Ngobu posto lo buntu go otinga iskati. Ya tela ke uti sisbambi iskati. On Sunday. Sifige eni. Eka mene kwa setu cheso. Mfundi swa mje maiti. Baiti na panje ku kora tu. Au utete la ba. Aba funu kubongu kulu kulu. Mba wano kwa zia straight ezu ini. Eka mene kwa setu cheso. Kulu kulu musa. And Bosese, Eka Meneko, so I will start to look for a fund this, Milan Kubeke, Gibeke Zanja. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Baba Eka Meneliga Jesus Christ, who was a Nazareth, Baba way to Omushe, Baba way to Onwele, Baba Siabong Exceling Ulungulwe to Siabong as Tandra, some people will away to. Siabonga weno shele nkazi mulweni Baba wetu ona mancha onke Kulu nkulu wetu onwele Baba siabonga nkulu nkulu wetu Siti bongo zonke zinge zako zikfanele Baba umasibonu msebezo mkulo mngaga Owenzile kule ndiao Kulu nkulu ona mancha onke Sibonile nkulu nkulu wetu kuluma ngomanga lisayo Pagati wetu Baba wetu ona mancha onke Umbuli mfisha galo, pagati kwetu Baba wetu na manja 
usifunza babu kudla wasezulwini baba sidlile baba wethu onamandla onke sidlile sisuthi baba wethu onamandla siyabonga ukuthi sazophuma kule ndawo baba impilo zethu ngeke iphinde ifane naqala kulunkulu onamandla onke enkulunkulu ongwele baba siyabonga impela sithu ngunkulunkulu obona ekujuleni lapho thina singaboni khona sithu ngunkulunkulu othembekile baba wethu onamandla egameni lika Jesu baba sithi qhubeka baba wethu onamandla wenze into eyinkulu phezu kweimpilo zethu ukukhuluma izinto eyifihlakele phezu kweimpilo zethu ngegama lika Jesu wase Nazareth baba siyabonga sithi bayede enkosi yezulu bayede emqalisi nomphelelisi wokholwa kwethu bayede enkulunkulu ongwele baba siyabonga dwala la madwala siyabonga enkosi yenkazimulo siyabonga manga ngikho kanti ukhona baba tathi indawo yakhe ekuseni kulunkulu onamandla onke sisazohlukana enkulunkulu wethu ngezindawo ngezindawo baba wethu onamandla onke sisezo emakhaya baba wethu ongwele sikhuluma ukunqoba phezu kweimpilo zethu sikhuluma iprotection baba wethu onamandla onke sindlali igazi lika Jesu umgwaqo wonke nasemakhaya nasemotweni zethu sifafaza igazi lika Jesu Kristu eli protection moya ingwele siyabonga kulunkulu onamandla onke sibaphu umoya ma accident sibaphu umoya wengozi ngegama lika Jesu Kristu wase Nazareth sibaphu umoya wama para ngegama lika Jesu wase Nazareth kulunkulu onamandla onke akekho yophuma kule ndlu abantu inkunzi ngegama lika Jesu wase Nazareth ingelosa sezulwini my hambe each and every one ophuma kule ndawo in the name of Jesus moya ingwele siyabonga egameni linamandla onke egameni lika Jesu Kristu in Jesus mighty name we pray amen singahlabelela egameni lenkosethu yesu
Hallelujah. public transport. public. Besege uya kululeke. Siya bonga kulu mshatuzu kona pagati wetu. Agen bashali ni zanda. Ay, mshatuzu zenga manja na last week bukona la. Siya bonga kububonga babu gelibetu. Abasbugele emakaya. Ungulungulu anbusise. Nani benina atiku 6 to 6. The night of resurrection power. Suwaboni na manja kankulungulu. God bless you. See you tomorrow. I am your apostle MJ Shabalala. Salute. God bless you. Amen.